Hello. In this video I will show how to compress textures in Counter-Strike Global Offensive. This can help you if you have a low-end PC or laptop, if you have a throttling when your FPS periodically drops to zero. I hope this tutorial will be useful for you. Thank you all for supporting my channel. In this video, I will show how to change the appearance of textures in the game as follows, for AMD and NVIDIA. Ok let's get started. The first method is suitable for AMD and NVIDIA. This method can be useful for NVIDIA based PCs and laptops, since NVIDIA inspector does not work now. We will reduce the size of the texture using a third party software. I must say right away that I am not responsible for this program. I used it for 2 weeks, there was no vac. I will leave a link to download the program in the description. Go to end of the page, download the program. After downloading, install the program, leave the default values during installation. After installation, we do not run the program. Go to the program folder. Find the exceptions ENI file. Open it. Find configurations for CSGO. In Max adjust Latvia's parameter specify the value 1, so that the textures are compressed as much as possible. Save this file. Now launch this program. Then launch the game. When you start the game, click yes. I remind you that there was no vac for 2 weeks, but still I am not responsible for the use of this program. Then I run DM. Ok. As we can see the textures are smoothed. This gives an increase of only 10 to 15 frames per second. But when using blurry textures, I fixed FPS drops to zero. The next method is only available for PC with AMD graphics cards. Press Win and R. Type here regedit. Next, follow this path. H key local machine, system, Current control set, control, video, open this, and this, right click on UMD, select new, string value, name this lot a DJ. Double click on this parameter, and enter 5 here. Ok, all done, you can play. So. In this video I talked about how to compress textures in CSGO and how to slightly increase FPS. I hope my video was useful to you. Thank you for watching.